Hello guys, welcome to the first video of our YouTube channel, Go Physics. Top astronomical events in the year 2020. So 2020 is going to be a phenomenal year for the best astronomical events ever. Casual observers and avid stargazers have a lot to look forward to in the new year. Here's a list of all major astronomical happenings we'll be talking about in 2020. Quadrant meteor shower. The shortest, strongest and strangest meteor shower peaks this weekend. Quadrantids are actually one of the big three meteor showers here on planet Earth. You can see at most 120 shooting stars per hour. The quadrantic stream is dense yet narrow. So the leak is short. Just 6 hours. Series of supermoons. Several times, the moon appears slightly bigger than normal in the night sky. In 2020, night sky will feature four supermoons in a row. In a supermoon, the moon looks 30% brighter and 14% larger than the normal full moon. You will be able to witness the supermoon only if you are a regular observer. To the common observer, they won't look any different to the other full moons. Mark the dates. February 9th will be the first supermoon of 2020. March 9th will be the closest approach. April 8th, the third supermoon will be called the Egg Moon. And May 7th will be the last supermoon of 2020. And it will be called the Full Flower Moon. Partial Lunar Eclipse A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between the Moon and the Sun. Keen observers in Asia, Australia, Europe and Africa may see the Moon turn a shade darker during the maximum phase of the penumbral lunar eclipse. Mars Occultation Mars will slip behind the Moon's illuminated side and then reappear on the moon's dark side. For many North American localities, the entire occultation from start to finish will last for over one hour. Lyrid's Meteor Shower The Lyrid's Meteor Shower will peak this year with about 10 to 15 meteors per hour. Named after constellation Lyra, Lyrids are one of the oldest recorded meteor showers. The fireballs in the meteor shower are created by debris from the comet. Thatches The comet is expected to be visible from Earth again in 2276. The Lyrids are best viewed in the Northern Hemisphere. Partial Solar Eclipse the first solar eclipse of 2020 will occur on June 21st. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun. A large annular eclipse will cover over 99% of the Sun, creating a dramatic spectacle for observers. It will be seen from Mid Africa, across Middle East, Northern India and Southeast Asia. Partial Lunar Eclipse July 5th will again be a partial lunar eclipse. This very subtle penumbral lunar eclipse will be essentially visible to the naked eyes, though it will last 2 hours and 45 minutes. Just 35% on the moon's disk will be in partial shadow. Perseid Meteor Shower the Perseid meteor shower will be seen in the night sky between July and August, but it will peak around August 11th. It lights up the night sky when Earth runs into pieces of cosmic debris left behind by the soft comet Swift Turtle. It is called the Perseid because the meteor seems to originate from the constellation of Perseus. Usually between 160 to 200 meteors, 
dazzle the earth's atmosphere or hour during its peak. Blue Moon Some people think that the moon will actually look blue, but it's not true. Blue Moon refers to the second full moon of the two full moons to occur in a single calendar month. Sadly, the moon you'll see on October 31st likely won't look blue, but blue moon is a rare event. The next seasonal blue moon will be on August 22, 2021. Numbral Lunar Eclipse 87% of the moon's disk will be partially shaded by the Earth. The eclipse as a whole will last 4 hours and 21 minutes. The moon will be visible from East Asia, Australia and Americas. It will be the last lunar eclipse of 2020. Geminids Meteor Shower This end of the calendar shower is usually the year's best and most reliable. Unlike last year's display which was ruined by a just past full moon, the 2020 Geminids arrive when the moon is new. Geminids meteor shower comes from 3200 Phaethon, an asteroid discovered in 1983 that circles the Earth every 3.3 years. It can produce 100 meters per hour radiating from a spot near the bright star Castor. This is a show you won't want to miss. Total Solar Eclipse The second and the last solar eclipse of the year will occur on 14 December, lasting from 1344 to 1853 UT. A dramatic so total solar eclipse will plunge the sun into total darkness for 2 minutes and 10 seconds at maximum. Conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn is known as the Great Conjunction. Jupiter and Saturn have appeared close on our sky's zone throughout 2019, but will get even closer in the coming months. On the evening of December 16th, the crescent moon will align with planets making an amazing sight. The conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn will occur on 22nd December. It happens every 20 years. The conjunction might be our last chance to see Jupiter and Saturn online. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Go Physics! journey beyond the unknown.